Hey, hey. Hello. How are you guys? Today we're here with Nicholas. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> um, and uh, Von Hamon, our lead designer. Hello, guys. Nice to be here. Say hello. Um, we are waiting for your uh, questions on the chat. So please uh, ask away. We'll have like a short Q&A for like uh, 25 minutes or so. And then we can do whatever you guys want or what we want and just have some fun. So I'm sitting here in my, my vault. Uh, actually, just but I can go somewhere if you guys want later on. Yeah. Um, nice. Let's see what you guys are saying. Oh, so many people! Yeah, it's a lot. So how are you here, guys? Seen some questions already that are quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is. When will the bow update happen? Probably next one. So we will have a big uh, item, uh, a big batch of item balance. And definitely we want to release bow rework and katana adjustments. So that will be it. Hope you like this this new update. We, we work hard on, on, on tweaking the balance, tweaking the new playstyle. So please give it a try. Uh, we have a question here from uh, Not Gatorade, which asks Ramon Madgad Exalt, what are your thoughts on John Strauss' video? Uh, actually, uh, Von Hamon uh, left a, a, an answer on Reddit about that. So take a look. Yeah, definitely you can go there. Uh, definitely we were like very glad to, to have Joss's uh, video. Uh, actually, we we've seen the second video in answer on no, certain topics. Uh, I went on that post a little bit about how the the views of the design team is uh, are about the new player experience, which you all understand is a very big important topic. And we've been discussing how uh, also all the systems are a piece of the puzzle. Like we need to pay attention to those. Uh, those systems first before we introduce you to this this uh, new experience. But at the same time, it's absolutely true that there's some things we can do in the meantime, right? Doesn't mean that we have to completely do or don't. We can go in incremental steps, but the big new player experience needs to have all the systems in place, right? Because you want to introduce people to the system that is already uh, complete to a minimum, right? It's, it's on, on, on the standards we want it to be. So it makes a lot of sense for us to have things in place, then introduce you to them. Okay. So more questions. Remember, guys, make design-related questions. Some of you are making uh, live operations-related questions, which we cannot answer because neither yeah. we uh, we are CMs. Me and Akalos and uh, Van Hamon here is the lead designer. So, some yeah, I might be jumping go, in some things go, go <laughs> on the meat of things. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we have an interesting one. If you don't mind, I, I, I like a lot. Like, do you believe creating new game mechanics or touching up on older content is more important for OTMG? More important is a bad criteria to say, I will say, I mean. What matters is the vision, right? What matters is what the game ends up being. So if you have something half-baked, it's more important to probably uh, bake, bake it, it completely <laughs> or, or, or work it. Yeah, m m work on it until it works how it should be. Or if you need something new, then it's more important to focus on that new thing, right? The important thing is what happens in the end, like what's the final play, ex play experience, right? So that's the criteria. That's, that's the vision. If you have a clear goal, that's where you should go, and you can either use whatever's there already or do a new thing, uh, depending on, on the operations you want to go. But y you need to know where you're going to finish. OK. Kak, uh, kick, kakek is asking, Admin Arena, when? 
on the next stream uh, so within two weeks no it's actually next week oh next week yeah yeah because we skipped yeah. one yeah so next yeah. week next week yeah also we, we have a lot of questions regarding uh paid campaigns and stuff like this we can't really give you an answer it's it's not our like field of work um but we can also try in the future to have somebody from the Live ops team on here, and maybe they can answer your questions. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, interesting. Um, this one, another important question. Like, if you could change the new experience, what will it be exactly? Well, I would like to go about this because there's a lot of discussion on this on the design team that um, that's been happening recently, but also did happen a long time ago, and it's happening continuously. You know, learning realm is difficult in a sense that. This game is very peculiar. In in it's very unique in, in lots of different ways. And the first sense that I want to be very clear that I'm very keen on teaching on player is what's the progression? Like what's the backbone of the progression here? Like, yeah, you're just in the realm and you kill monsters and then what? What should I do? Right? So the thing I'm most keen on is giving you this sense of progression that we all have once you learn the game. Yeah, first I need to have uh, my character on level 20, then I need to max potions, then I need to go uh, get items, and then I need to do exaltations, maybe. But this this backbone of the progression is, for me, critical in, in, in a game. And it really gives you things to do today, things to do this week, things to do this year even, right? So this structure is the thing I will go to. And to do that, we will have a lot of different things. It's not just about tutorials and <laughs> having a pop-up. No, definitely it's not about that. It's just about thinking how a new player starts understanding concepts and using them to grow. Like, okay, I know this. This is my next step. I need to do this. And I'm clear on what I should do and what I'm doing, right? And, and how I'm doing. I'm very keen on this because I come from doing... Uh, uh, other games that are very involved in progressions and stuff like that. So um, it's personally something I, I'm very keen on. Cool, cool, cool. So... Yeah, I, th I think there were also questions earlier about if we... If we... Uh, everybody here saw the the video from Josh and uh, obviously we, we did. We th There, there were a lot of people linking that to us and showing it to us. Of uh, course, yes. Uh, so I, I can just talk for myself, and I, I worked on other games before that, that he actually critiqued and, and showed, and I think uh, it so far was always really valuable feedback and, and things to show. We obviously, a lot of the things that, that came up, I think, were already stuff that, that we are aware of, um, but I think it's it's a perfect time to now talk to you guys closely again about the, the, the things that you said and that happened, mm -hmm. because... Yeah, we were hearing a lot of the little stuff like, uh, before from all of you guys, so it's not everything is new. Okay. What are the plans for Sorcerer Rework? Man, we want to make <laughs> it cool. <laughs> we definitely want to to want it, want it to be a class that is on the front lines, and we have plans for tweaking, but not disrupting how the class feels. And actually, um, we are on it, so. We definitely have it uh, pretty much confirmed. To I cannot talk about the exact dates or when it, it will happen, but I mean we are like hands dirty on it, so definitely will happen. And the plans it's themselves is just to rework the ability, and then based on the ability, we will rework the the the, the playstyle and the ability are, have to be uh, very very closely linked, right? So when we rework how the playstyle works. Then we will rework uh, stats, items, pretty much adjust the balance of the rest of the things to, to make the class usable, of course. But it all starts, if, if, if you want me to point one big part of that rework, is of course the ability. And what it will do, I won't spoil, but it will be something cooler based a lot on your position and careful skill with uh, where you position yourself and how you use the the enemies and pretty much what sorcery is, is right? So it's a lot about skill and timing and careful uh, positioning. We have a question here from KM All Might saying, have you considered an ultimate and super ability attack like in a ton of MMOs? Ah, that's a very interesting one. So, 
that there, there be some suggestions in in that regard. Just think a bit how it will impact the game in, in different ways, right? It will mean having probably another button, it will, which is not really the big problem. We actually are not afraid of that. For example, with Summer, we we introduce a new button, uh, but it definitely means another layer of combat, another layer of uh, of uh, mechanics, of muscle memory, of a lot of things we have to consider. The idea is there. Um, I won't say we have explored it that much. And right now it's not in, in the plans to, to look at it too much because it will dramatically alter a uh, combat system, but I think it can expand in, in some other ways, to be honest. That's not to say we cannot have uh, special things, right? We, we introduce special items all the way, but I think that change is more fundamental and it's not right now what we are interested in, in, in exploring, right? Mm, let me see. more questions. I'm gonna. No. Will it's there not... be this new class working. weapons? I like that one. Like, will there be new class weapons different from the already existent? Um, if you mean class weapons, like for example, you have the sword, right? The bows, the ones that. Yeah, they're definitely. That's that's uh, something we we announced in the producer's letter. So we will have new new weapon types. And the way they will work is just similar to what we have right now. It's just expanding the options. Uh, so knights, paladins, and warriors can use swords, and now they will be able to use a, a new type of of, of weapon uh, besides swords. So it will be tired uh, uh, variants, and there will be UTs, and there will be STs for for these new types of weapons. It's just expanding the arsenal to say. Um, any more cool questions? Will there be a PPE mode? Asks. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> there will be. <laughs> so definitely yes. Um, we cannot release the details. We are working out some of the details, but and, and how it will work exactly and how it will be delivered. But yes, we want it. We want it so bad. It's, it's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a very big, important part of how a lot of people play the game. Okay. I'm just showing stuff around. Another question. Have you thought about skill trees for each class, where you can advance a class further and further to better and better abilities, all the special stats? Like, no exaltations, right? Like, yeah, pro proper skill, uh, skill trees. Um, it's a bit of a complex one. It's not in the short-term plans, I can tell you for sure. There needs to be a change from top to down to, to, to really make sense. And this change is more, it's a, it's a more transversal one, right? Because it will mean that the way, pretty much you, you, in Realm, you progress your character and you have like a permanent progression, right? Which is your levels, your exaltations, your things that are static. And then you have things that are like, let's say dynamic, that belongs to your uh, loadout, if you want. Uh, it's the items you want, it's the pet you have, it's uh, the, the other parts that are more, that, that you can configure each time. Skill tree has many different approaches on how it could be implemented, but it will be changing, dramatically changing this balance we have between dynamic and static progress, right? So it needs to be careful considered. It's not in the short term, but I won't say that in the future we might uh, not have it. It's just not right now until we get the the uh, progression to this to the point we want. And definitely we have a lot of uh, gear and other options to 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 play with that. And I think there's still a lot of potential in the items to make that. As you know, um, I think Realm is very based on the items you have. So that's not a bad thing either, right? Yeah. Do you have a plan on releasing content harder than 03? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have. Not much to say on that, <laughs> but yes. Yeah. Eventually, we will have to. I, I think uh, 03 was the top ceiling, the, the, the ceiling of skill two years ago. I think our players um, are ready 
know how how to deal with this level of difficulty and difficulty is not always having more attack patterns more lethal uh faster there's a lot of ways you can make something difficult so we want to also expand on how things are difficult um, because there's many ways to make something difficult right um we've been probably over focusing and just making more bullets in the screen uh faster and there's this other ways please no asks any plans for bringing back the arena? No. no. The arena, yeah. Uh, but actually, I think... I, I don't want to like compare both modes to not confuse anyone, but seasons that will be included with the battle pass and all the new things have a lot of the elements that made uh, arenas very popular, right? Uh, and a lot of people loved those elements, so... I think that we are like getting the best of those features and making them in this into this this uh, new system of seasonality that we're talking about, which includes a lot of things. It includes battle pass, includes like new missions that we're calling achievements, uh, not to be confused with the team achievements. These are yes. like missions in the game and stuff like that. And I don't think uh, there will be important things from the arenas missing here, but. Just to say one very important thing that we don't want to do is a split how you play. So having like a complete different mode is not something that fits the vision of we have for Rem right now. Um, we want you to play with your friends if you want. And you might be doing some very special achievement uh, for, for the mission and your friend might just be learning the dungeon. And you, you want to play together, right? We don't want to disrupt that. And I think Arena's didn't really do a good job with that. So we're taking the good and trying to, to improve on, on, on what didn't work. Okay. Um, okay. Any plans to create dungeons that require more teamwork or specific mechanics? Something similar to raids in other MMOs, asks Amon mm -hmm. Domini. Yes, uh, it's an interesting one because there's a lot of things in that question. Uh, for one, let's let's agree that realms dungeons are not exactly the same thing as other MMOs dungeons, right? Uh, because you cannot spend 50 minutes, or you cannot spend two hours doing a dungeon in realm. It it just doesn't fit the playstyle. It, it our game is just faster, and it's more intense, and it's full of uh, adrenaline spikes if you want and we cannot exactly replicate one-to-one -one that experience still the strategic part which i think is the, the core of your questions uh yeah we, we we can and actually we have in the works uh something related to this and we're exploring other options um we also want to emphasize the uh, the the level design right which is something we i think we've been doing in the last couple of years a great job in that in that regard like we're putting a lot more emphasis on that uh, uh level design of the dungeon so it's not just going there clearing uh, room after room after room there's there's some 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 kind of good uh gameplay there and yeah we definitely want to keep keep that going and about the teamwork it depends. We want to introduce teamwork elements where you are more efficient if you do uh, teamwork, but we don't want to make it a barrier, which is a very important philosophy, right? We don't want to make it a barrier for players who don't want to cooperate, want to go solo, or want to go in, in um, smaller groups or stuff like that. So that's also important because this is a more bite-sized uh, experience. That's, that's what a dungeon in Realm is. It's not like in, in, in other MMOs. I'm back. Yes, asks, uh, what are the biggest inspirations the Deca team takes for their vision of RotMG? Like the biggest inspirations, uh, we take a lot of references from from many other games. For example, the team right now is playing Lost Ark a lot, uh, and we we love a lot of games and a lot of uh, a lot of um, different media. Um, I myself. I'm uh, personally a fan of Metroidvanias because I've worked in some of them. <laughs> so uh, really, really keen on, on those type of games. So I actually include them uh, in some way of an or another in my designs. Uh, we all play a lot of RPGs, to be honest, and um, Bullet Hells. Um, 
So there's, there's been a lot of variety, uh, a, a big variety of, of inspirations. I cannot point you one, really, because Realm has been for a long time uh, a game so unique that it doesn't really have a one-to-one -one equal, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Spencer36000 uh, asks, now with Mountain Temple and Lair of the Corners reworked, have there already been ideas for the next dungeon to be reworked or is balancing the main focus now? Uh, well, balancing is like a more um, permanent thing in the sense that we everything we do has to, in some way or another, point towards balance, right? Uh, but then there are other things happening. So with balance always going uh, forward, we also can do other projects. And of course, those other projects have to contribute to the overall balance of the game and they have to have a, a purpose in the meta and, and everything else. So uh, we have projects for reworking, but we are uh, more focused on new content at this point. So it's both like we are doing balance of things like classes and stuff like that. But at the same time, we are not forgetting about new content. Yeah. And the, the, this uh, question comes from a, a user called Wotan, or I don't know if you heard of him, <laughs> but, he, but he asks, what about new dungeons? Exactly. Very tight to the previous question. Like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, new dungeons. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. When, how, what, uh, I, I will keep that for now. But yes. definitely, yes. Okay. Um, more questions. Are you going to add more epic versions of dungeons, but instead of epic, like legendary versions of the same difficulty level as the three, but like legendary pirate cave, for example? Uh, and if that happened, uh, how would it work with the current version of Rotten G? Um, um, this is I a very can, yeah. common question that we get. Yeah. We get a lot this in legacy dungeons as well. So if you can cover yeah. both questions, it would be awesome. Yeah. Um, you know what happens with epic versions of dungeons that the 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 um the scripter doesn't really represent that well what it is like it's just a harder version of pirate cave but it's not that water dogs it's so what it really means i think dungeon mods uh and, and definitely something we we want to improve because dungeon mods are in like a still basic stage but the vision for them is actually to provide this dynamic uh sense of difficulty so if you had a different uh stronger version of the boss with uh different hazards customized for each dungeon with dungeon mods that really are customized to each dungeon and everything else that's your epic dungeon just right there right and, and, and it's just not one version it's just a version that changes constantly and it's, dyna it's more dynamic that's a still the the vision for for dungeon mods. Uh, unfortunately, we are still not there, but I can tell you that this is like the what what the vision should be. So your epic parquet will be a parquet with hard dungeon mods, and of course, an equally proportionate reward. Thanks for the follow, Renormies. Okay, I have one more question, guys. Like, we'll answer one, not because I have to go. Yeah, let's do a last one. Let's see okay. if we, have, we can find a good one. That is actually like the Steam achievements, they are not design related. They are, I think that's a problem just on Steam side, but I, yeah, I can run it out, guys. And yeah. see assassin what rework. I think that's huh? another interesting yeah, one. Assassin right? rework. Uh, yes. So assassin reward, same as social rework. We want to, we want, no, we are <laughs> doing, uh, working uh, intensely on, on assassin rework. And it's a completely different thing, but at the same time, um, we are trying to go through the same process as the sorcerer. We are uh, reworking the the playstyle and the ability. And to do that, we had to do a lot of investigation. What's uh, grown with it? What uh, should be his his uh, his niche in the battle, right? Because one of the problems we saw was that um, a lot of other classes just were better in all the different niches that the assassin could feel, but still it's a class that a lot of people love. And yeah. uh, we are starting through the ability, we are reworking the ability, and after we do that and we are happy with the playstyle, we will rebalance everything around it. So 
stats, um, items, UTs, everything else to just make sure that it fits the, the, the new playstyle. Um, again, I won't spoil how it works, but it, it won't be a complete rework of the abilities, so it's, it, it looks like a f completely different class. It's more changing what it needs to be changed. So, so you can still use assassin. Be, uh, of, of course, it will feel different, but it won't be disruptive. If you liked the old assassin, you should still like this this new one, or at least yeah. we hope you do. <laughs> okay, so yeah, assassin um, coming. Von Hamon has to leave now. Yeah. Uh, Thank you has... very much for joining us. Design Thank stuff. you very much, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thank been you a very pleasure. Much for joining. I will. Uh... Wait, I will take off your thingy from the screen. <laughs> take care, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 And gone. Bye bye. The um, timing was perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So, uh, questions for us? If you guys don't have questions for us, we take suggestions. We're not opening uh, admin arenas today. <laughs> That's only for next week. Okay. Um, but yeah, we can answer a couple more questions and leave, or we can do stuff with you, whatever you want. Well, if you have uh, CM related questions, that is. <laughs> yeah, CM related questions. Um, Shane, we are uh, writing down your suggestion and passing it on to the yeah, other guys. I think one of the, the, the questions we often get is uh, how to apply for to, to work for Decker. You can just go on our website, yeah. on the Decker website, onto the career page, and you can have a look if there's an open position that either fits your interest or, or your, your skill that, that, that is listed, and then you can apply. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have really we have lots of people uh, talking about the new game, new player experience. Guys, see what uh, Von Hamon wrote on on Reddit, please. Take a look uh, to his answer um, and his, his post on on uh, on Reddit. It will uh, show you guys what we are planning and to do uh, about that, and you will see that yes, we are working on it. Um, Okay. Any plans for more Steam DLCs? As most are outdated, like that one. Uh, I don't think so. Like this is more like a live operation questions. But we can can note that down and see, like if there's outdated things that, that probably has to be. Yeah, we have to have, can have a look. Yeah. Let me write that down. Also, if you if you make a blog post to summarize this Q and A. Um, I think we have to discuss this. I'm not sure yet, but I think uh, from the feedback that I got during the stream now on Discord as well is that we can upload the the stream for sure for on our YouTube channel, for example. Yeah, um, we'll do that, and that for sure. Uh, also, the the, the, the the VOD is going to be on on Twitch as well for a while. Yeah, but we will export it to to YouTube. Yeah, you can expect that. And and if you guys like the the, the small Q and A session, obviously it wasn't that long. Um, we can we can do more in the future, maybe with different team members and then different departments. If you guys are interested, obviously. Yeah, the whole goal of this would be to to whenever a team member has a little bit of time to bring him in. That's why this wasn't announced like last week or something like that because we are uh, actually taking time from the guys, and uh, we thank Van Hamon for this. Um, but yeah, um, so whenever we, we have the possibility to bring, uh, we, uh, some guys here, we will, we want to bring devs, we want to bring people from hello, um, whatever. Um, guys, no admin arenas today, Bobby Joe is taken. Yes, that's true. You're answering to Aquila plays. So since so, so we're still getting the questions about new play experience, I'm just going to link you guys the the Reddit yeah. post. 
from our lead game designer. Yep. And you can have a look uh, for yourself. It's also, I think some people complain that, that it seems like we ignored like questions about Josh video. We don't. We, we, we answered this like twice in the, in the stream, but people joined later. Uh, so yeah, it, you can have a look at the, at the Reddit post and it's pretty much addressing most of the things. Takaf, you wrote something in that sounds strange. Uh, I'm Portuguese. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm from Portugal, but what you wrote doesn't make doesn't make much sense. I'm guessing it's <laughs> Portuguese from Brazil. Um, I don't know. Um, do we know when Bill Rework hits prod? Uh, we don't. We don't. We we don't. I mean, we we do have a roadmap, but it's not public yet. Okay. Will there, this is my favorite question, will there ever be a proper console port within something in the future? I want this so bad, especially for my, uh, wait, let me show you. I want it to run on this pretty bad, <laughs> but it's my, it's uh, my thing, I guess. I'm a big Nintendo nerd and, and fan. Um, so yeah. I know the game runs well um, on on the Steam Deck, which is very nice to hear. Um, yeah. Dynamo X Rotom G, what and without beard when? If probably one of these days when I when I'm tired of it, uh, I shave it off sometimes. Um, Will there be Unity supporter skins for the new classes? Actually, don't know, Poketan, but I can write it down. Yeah, to see someone made Realm run on the calculator. Surely a console port won't be that hard. Uh, oft often when you, you're porting games to a console, it uh, it's not really your code that is the problem, but the code of the, the console uh, and the way they, they work with the data. Um, but yeah, w would be great to have that in the future. I would love. Yes. Are there any plans to rework the tutorial? Yes. It's like, uh, as I mentioned, I can link it again. You can have a look. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I know. Like, after the video, I think this, this question is going to come up a lot yeah. of the times again yeah. and again. And I, and I understand it. It's it's well, uh, yeah. it's an important part now. I only want to see the game thrive. So do we. So do we. So do we. Not only because it's our jobs, but because we do love the game, so yeah. Um, okay, I guess we can call it today. What do you say, Achilles? Yeah, we can do that. And next week we, we meet again with with a lot of spawns. And then, yeah, this time on two rounds, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah more, we, more we, we will, we will uh, do the split screen thing. Bam! That I used to do with Jendi. Amazing. Um, yeah. Um, and see, Nicholas says, Achilles sounds like Nicholas. Lmao. <laughs> <laughs> it's very close. Uh, Maybe we are the same person. <laughs> um, so, guys, thank you very much for for joining us today. Thank you. See you next week with uh, Spamathon, and um, don't forget to follow and um, do all that stuff that you already know that I, I don't have to say. Okay. Bye bye, guys. See ya. Bye. Let me search for the um, end stream button, which I um, <laughs> <cannot>. <laughs> found it. Bye.